This is Luther H. Hodge, the Secretary of Commerce. The U.S. Department of Commerce is vitally interested in science and the future. That's why we are now participating in the Century 21 exhibit in Seattle. The U.S. Pavilion will be the greatest visual story of science ever assembled. It's aimed at stimulating youth's interest in science and to present the role of man in his search for truth in the universe. In the five separate buildings of this complete structure, the U.S. Science Pavilion will offer elaborate exhibits designed to make the nature of science leap into understandable life. And to help achieve that result, it has called on the talents of two of the nation's most imaginative designer enterprises, Charles Ames and Walter Darwin T. Science and Mankind a theme powerful enough to bring Seattle the greatest United States government support provided any World's Fair to date. And in Unit 3, a million-dollar dome theater, the Boeing Airplane Company finances a spectacular show, The Space Area. Right now, it's a great pleasure for me to introduce the Boeing Airplane Company's technical advisor to the United States Department of Commerce on the Space Area, Dr. Walter Hiltner. Dr. Hiltner, exactly what is the Space Area? Why, the Spacearium is a planetarium that will carry us out into space. We have a, a building where we will project uh, the pictures of the space voyage all around the horizon onto a dome. We have it right here, do we not? Well, we have the model here. Yes, we do. Uh, the, here's the dome, and uh, we can peel the dome away to see what it looks like inside. People will come in. They uh, uh, will grasp a handrail so that it doesn't tip them over when we start to fly and the projection will come from the projection single projection lens in the center over the whole inside this is a rather unique development isn't this it? this is a brand new development there hasn't been anything like it before uh, it's a whole new idea in the projection in the theaters too. what will uh, a visitor to the space arium see on his ride through space well, of course the first thing it will come to is the moon you can see see us looking there uh, at the moon as uh, we take off and go out uh, across the... Uh, As we uh, pass the moon, then? Well, beyond the moon, of course, uh, we can look back and see the Earth disappearing over the moon's horizon. Uh -huh. And then, beyond that, we go out to the... past the rings of Saturn, out to the nearer stars, and watch uh, the peculiarities that we find there, the dust clouds that make the nebulas, and then beyond our own galaxy, the Milky Way, we go out to the other galaxies way out into space. And all of this, we might add, in uh, all the colors of the spectrum, correct? Yes. Doctor, why so much interest uh, from the Boeing Airplane Company in such a project? Well, the Boeing Company has been in transportation throughout their whole history, and this will carry us even farther and beyond. Certainly, the space area is one place that every Century 21 visitor should visit. Thank sure. you very much, Doctor. In the area between what is now the armory and the site of the U.S. Science Pavilion, the first of the construction crews are at work on those $12 million worth of buildings and shows now due to be financed by American industry as well as by neighbor cities like Tacoma. Here is a first look at a few of them. The family-sized No Hands Ma telephone booth. Hitherto found only in Disneyland, it will be a small segment of a grand and costly exhibit building to rise at Century 21 for the Bell System and Pacific Telephone Northwest. Meantime, the Seattle World's Fair looks ahead to a jazzy aspect of its transportation picture, the monorail, being installed between downtown Seattle and the fair. Its zippy, almost mile-a-minute ride, much faster than the German installation shown here, will be a novel thrill in itself as well as a test of one possible solution to the country's urban transportation problems. This is the actual view visitors will get as they dine atop the 50-story tower in a revolving restaurant that will take an hour to complete this circle. The great $3 million tower will be located just behind the armory on the downtown side of the fairgrounds. Already the model has been wind tested, and as architects of the John Graham firm point out, visitors will be zoomed up to its top in outside glassed-in elevators 
while a set of some of the world's biggest carillons will make music over the scene. <laughs>